Right, today I'm going to introduce you to a new concept, okay, and it's called a modulus operator. So what is a modulus operator? A uh, modulus operator is when you have two variables or two numbers when you divide them together, whatever the remainder is, you can actually take that value to actually perform other actions with it, okay, or you perform other calculations with it. So just to explain if I just show you you will understand it better let's just start off with okay uh, uh, asking a user to enter a number so let's call a variable number okay and we want this number to be obviously integer so this declare is integer okay and then we're going to put a very simple message to the user just going to write say enter a number okay Okay, so we ask the user to enter a number and then we want to do something with this variable called number. So let, we're just going to create a variable called x. Okay, x is equal to num and then I'm going to put the modulus sign for Python, which is the percentage sign. So I'm just going to put percentage sign and then for now I'm just going to divide it by 2 and we can see what happens. So what I want to do now is actually follow this variable x on the user screen so I'm just going to write print and put the variable x there okay so we ask the user to enter a number the number will go into number and then the number it will be uh, you know divided by two and whatever the leftover is actually be stored into variable x okay and run the program and so enter a number so I'm just going to enter a just a 10 okay so you when I enter 10 you can see the result the variable x is on the user screen 0. So what happened? So the user entered a number which was 10 and the 10 was stored into variable number and the number, okay, number modulus 2 which means number divided by 2 whatever the leftover is, okay, a result of, of it and the remainder of it actually stored into variable x and the variable x is actually printed on the user screen so you can see 0. Now if I run this program again and and if I type in this time 11 okay so if I type in 11 and you can see this time the remainder is 1 now so what's happened so if you have imagine if you have 11 coins and you divide it by 2 you will have one remainder and so that's what just happened okay you had 11 number is 11 modulus 2 and the one remainder 1 was into x so what I'm going to do I'm going to change this variable okay I'm going to call it remainder so you can understand it better okay remainder okay so and I'm going to change uh, the output also okay to remainder as well so we can see the remainder whatever is inside the uh, variable remainder okay so now I'm going to change this value to two, 3 okay so I'm going to divide it by 3 and see what happens if I run this program okay so now at this time again I'm just going to type in again 10 uh, uh, same value again so type in 10 okay so if I type in 10 divided by 3 okay and then you will uh, you will have one remainder for this okay so if I run it again if I do it by do 17 now you can see 17 divided by 3 you will have two remainder okay so what you can see the modulus is obviously is only concerned with the the value of what's left over what's remainder okay so I'm going to change this okay to 5 now and you can see that different results okay so if I run it now okay if I run the program okay so now of course I will enter a different value and see what you come up with okay so if I if I run this program if I enter 29 so you can see that when you uh, 29 divided by 5 okay you you will have four remainder okay so so the, the one you, modulus is actually a main concern with whatever actually is left over whatever the remainder is that's what is actually concerned with